St. Louis. It is Tuesday, which means it's time for a design tip sponsored by the Emory Design Studio. And joining us this afternoon is President and CEO Anne-Marie Boges. Anne-Marie, thank you so much for joining me today. Absolutely. It's always a pleasure. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about today because today is all about luxury, I love right? A luxury. <laughs> I mean, where do we even start when it comes to luxury, especially inside of our kitchen? In a kitchen, right? So my theory is when you're having a kitchen, everyone wants everything. And you want to cook in the space, you want to flunk, function in the space and flow everywhere just seamlessly because you're cooking and you're trying to entertain, you're usually on a time crunch. And if you're not good for you, who are you? <laughs> Can we switch roles anytime right. we're hosting an event, right? Yeah. So the idea is there are some really cool luxury items you could add to your space that will also enhance just the experience of being in it. And I think everyone should have those items, or at least one here and there. So everyone wants a new kitchen, everyone wants something to look beautiful, but having a really good function inside your yeah. space is a dream come true. Well, what are we, what are your kind of top recommendations for some of those luxury items in the kitchen? Well, I mean, I always want to start with the idea of appliances and storage. Okay. So if you're, and I think we've got some really cool, like ways to organize mm -hmm. coffee for people. Ooh, everyone yeah. has their morning routine, mm -hmm. their storage for their morning routine. I like hiding all that morning stuff. Because guess what? <laughs> There's that whole hustle and bustle that happens. So right here you're seeing a coffee station that has big pocket doors mm -hmm. that open up and close up and hide it all inside. So the coffee maker's inside of there. We can do like lots that. of things. In a cabinet like this, I call this a larder cabinet. Mm -hmm. You could have coffee. You could have, you know, just maybe any countertop appliance. So mm -hmm. a toaster, or little small blenders, or you're making shakes for protein shakes, things like that in the morning. I like the idea that this is a simple go-to. It's near the sink, it's near the trash can. It's and sealed. Right, and a lot of people are doing Keurigs, right? Or, or a smaller little pod kind of co coffees instead. This is a drawer that holds those little K-cups for you. So dreamy. So it, it, it is, and you can see all the flavors <laughs> right there, and everyone just knows they're in that top drawer mm -hmm. right underneath mm -hmm. where the coffee pot is. It's really clean and organized. It helps you also when you're going to go to the store, you know, Oh, I'm almost out. I can finally see that <laughs> instead of digging through a box. So I think that's really important. When I'm designing things with clients too, I'm trying to get an understanding of what do you need to store that seems to be left out on the counter all the time? Fruits and vegetables, they're always out, right? So people are still doing the concept of a veggie drawer. So this is like onions or potatoes. Oh, that's or nice. Any kind of thing that you wouldn't put in the refrigerator maybe that you'd want out that needs air. This is the kind of storage for you for that. We've done it recently on a kitchen that they don't really make, um, it used to be like baskets, like mm -hmm. it looked like wicker mm -hmm. baskets. They don't really make them like that anymore. So that was, you know, how to handle those. Who needs paper towels in their kitchen? Everyone, right? And this is the perfect way to get them off of the counter. I love it this way. I'm obsessed. It's right there, it's accessible, <laughs> it's near the sink, it's near a trash can, it's just right there ready to go. So mm -hmm. that's actually on a drawer glide on the back of it. So let's say it's empty. You pull the whole thing open, behind it is more storage for other paper towels. So that it's real easy nice. to access. I love a paper towel, easily to grab. Here's just spices. Everyone has spices and oils for their kitchen. Lots of people just right now have them in their wall cabinets and they're digging mm -hmm. for what they need. Little pull out cabinets on the left and the right of your cooking, your cooking surface, cooktop or an oven is a great place to have it. So it's all in one location. You don't need to dig. This is my favorite luxury <laughs> item. It's kind of hard close up to see, but this is a water dispenser. Oh, you see them, so nice. You can see them in commercial <laughs> spaces, but I've done them in homes with children, with every day. Like mm -hmm. I'm filling up my water constantly before I leave the house, before we go to the next thing. Kids have water bottles. It's funny because you grew up and you think, how did we ever survive? We never brought water anywhere with us. No, literally. <laughs> but and now, now we're like, we need it. We we're need so thirsty. We need to fill up our Stanleys, our Yetis. <laughs> our Stanleys. But well, this is great though. And the best part is it saves on the planet. You're not, mm -hmm. you're not going in plastic water bottles. You're just refilling your stainless steel cups. So it's a great way to take care of that for your family. Here's a picture showing it filling up just about to the top, but it's got a little tray in the bottom. So mm -hmm. if you accidentally spill it, it can it's land okay. there. It can also go into a drain, which is great. And it's filtered cold water. It's right, ready to go. Oh so, my gosh, you know, you're making me thirsty. Just I know, well, lots of people like refrigerators with the water on the door. Mm -hmm. I, as a designer, don't love that because it's not pretty. No. <laughs> and it makes no. a mess on the floor a lot of times. So this is great to have tucked away or in a mm -hmm. wall or somewhere kind of near the kitchen or near your, your space where your cups are. These are just some fun, quick kitchen must haves. Yeah, and they're they're not, not, the word luxury is tricky because it's not even that these things are crazy expensive. No, but it's the little things. Yeah. The little things are luxury. Yeah, they are. I like that. And that's actually kind of your design tip for the day. It is my design Okay, tip. let's go ahead and read your design tip for all of St. Louis to You hear. should treat yourself to some must have luxury items. 
St. Louis, treat yourself. And if you're in the market for a kitchen remodel, a bathroom remodel, maybe even the entire first floor, Emory Design Studio is here to help you. All you have to do is pick up the phone and give them a call. That number to dial is 636-821-3395. You can catch her also on Studio STL on Tuesdays, bringing us design tips, or you can visit her online at amorystudio.com.